Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the um, Hernandez versus Lugo the zone recap as uh, Rocky Hernandez squared off against Daniel Lugo in a super featherweight clash at 130 pounds. That took place last Saturday, uh, May, shit, what was it? May, um, May 11th, I'm sorry, on uh, DAZN. So before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. Um, all right, let's jump into this fight now. Um, you know, it was a, um, a good action-packed fight for as long as it lasted, you know, and um, I think we got uh, we got the real story be behind both these fighters, you know. Rocky Hernandez was coming in, was uh, as a, you know, he had, he was coming back from the loss to Oshaki Foster in a fight that he was winning, and Foster stopped him in the late, in the 12th and final round. He would have walked away with a majority decision victory had that not happened and would have been a world champion. So he needed to bounce back in a major way. And he took on, instead of taking a tune-up bout, he took on Daniel Lugo, who had fought uh, Mauricio Lara to a draw in Lara's debut at 130. And, and you know, so it was time to see who the who the real fighter was between these two guys. Was Rocky Hernandez's uh, performance against Foster a fluke? Or was Daniel Lugo's performance against Lara a fluke? We are going to see these two guys with no doubts going in. Nobody's going to be surprised. Nobody overlooking the other fighter. They were coming to fight. And Lugo looked good early. They were trading. It was a good action-packed fight. He had uh, Rocky Hernandez trying to box more and was moving backwards. Um, he even rocked Rocky Hernandez in the third round. Uh, you know, uh, hurt him. But Hernandez bounced back from that. And... Um, really took over in the fifth round he he came back strong in the fourth but the fifth round he took over put his foot on the gas pedal and just overwhelmed daniel lugo for three straight rounds finally in the seventh round the referee jumped in and stopped the fight um and awarded rocky hernandez seventh round tko uh lugo didn't feel like it was warranted but he was getting beat on um and wasn't really responding as as rocky hernandez's stamina there and those middle rounds really showed as he just was relentless um, and walks away with a seventh round TKO. So a big win for Hernandez, um, you know, uh, bouncing back from the Foster loss. And now he's, you know, he said afterwards, he said he wants a title fight. He'd love a rematch with Foster, uh, Cordina. Um, he was talking about uh, Oscar Valdez, if, you know, because Valdez is on the verge of being upgraded to full champion if Navarrete wins this week uh, coming up, wins the lightweight title. So um, we'll discuss his what's next next week. But Rocky Hernandez, good, strong victory, a victory that he really needed and um, really uh, performed well. Daniel Lugo, you know, um, I think this is kind of what he is. You know, he's been in there, uh, you know, he fought hard against Mauricio Lara, but I think a lot of people will will understand that Lara probably wasn't taking that fight that serious, and um, that's why that fight ended in a draw. But Lugo can, you know, he took a shot. He can still try to bounce back and see what he's got. Um, no shame in this one. He fought hard, but came up short. So that's it. That's what I got. That's my recap from the May 11th, the zone card, that was headlined by Rocky Hernandez and Daniel Lugo in a 130-pound super featherweight clash. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been here with the truth.